They weren't trying to make the body disappear. They were trying to delete it from sight. Decades before science fiction promised cloaking devices, real scientists chased invisibility with nothing more than mirrors, angles, and obsession. In shadowed laboratories, walls lined with glass, they built strange frameworks, panels tilted just so, surfaces polished to perfection, designed to bend light around a human shape. The theory was seductively simple. Vision depends on reflection. Control the reflection, and you control reality. When a subject stepped into the mirrored rig, the room shattered into fragments. Glass reflected glass, folding space in on itself. From the outside, the human form began to blur, edges dissolving into the background. From certain viewpoints, there was no body at all, just empty air where a person should have been. Observers whispered. Some swore their eyes were lying to them. Inside the structure, the experience was far worse. Depth vanished. Horizons collapsed. The floor felt unstable, as if it might drop away at any second. Subjects reached out and touched nothing but their own reflections, multiplied endlessly. Balance failed. Nausea surged. Panic followed. A few had to be pulled out, shaking, unable to tell where their body ended and the illusion began. The invisibility never held. A single movement broke the effect. A breath, a shift of weight, a flicker of light betrayed the trick. True invisibility remained out of reach. But the experiments proved something unsettling. You don't need to erase a person to make them disappear. You only need to bend the way the world sees them. 